Thank you very much for the invitation. Okay, so I will first start with uh, um, this uh, uh, well-known result uh, of the Finetti theorem, um, which Sasha just mentioned uh, in 19 from 1937. It says the following. Um, if we consider an uh, infinite binary sequence, the space of uh, binary sequence, and uh, we consider uh, the action of uh, um, finite permutations by just to permute uh, finite many coordinates. So we have this uh, uh, group action. Then the ergodic measures, so all measures in this uh, uh, mini courses will be probability measures. So ergodic measures of this group action are exactly and those uh, um, Bernoulli measures, which means um, we have uh, p that zero plus one minus p that one, and take um, power for p from zero to one. Here I just recall, uh, I would like to recall that uh, um, by ergodic measures, I mean that, uh, so if we have a group action, so ergodic measures are those um, invariant ones such that Um, any um, G invariant. So, in fact, for a subset of X has full measure or negligible. So, full measure means measure one or negligible. Major zero. Um, and uh, um, this is a very well known theorem. The next theorem is the Schoenberg theorem. Um, I think it's in uh, 53, something like. Um, so we consider this group. Actually, we will consider uh, for, okay, let us consider this group. U infinity, which is just the union of all, um, here it's just n times m uh, unitary matrices. And uh, the union means the following. So actually, um, every element here is written in this way. So we have here n times n blocks. This block, and we add infinitely many one, and this block is from inside unitary group. And we consider um, the group action, so it's natural that this is a group. We take action of this, uh, which is just by, um, in fact, so every element is a, a unitary group, and the action will be, so here, suppose we have an element, Here's GM and here's one, one. Then we write this as CM times CM. M. And the action of this element on uh, this space is just action on this part and leave invariant, uh, does, not, does nothing on this part. 
And it turns out, for this group, the, ergodic, the classification of all ergodic measures is also possible, and it's given um, as follows. So ergodic measures uh, for, um, let me find uh, a color. Uh, for this action, are uh, exactly those Gaussian measures. For this action, are just uh, Gaussian measures. Which means that uh, uh, we take um, on each C, we take um, a standard complex, uh, actually not standard, we, we on each coordinate, we take a, random, uh, a Gaussian measure, complex Gaussian measure, then we take um, product of these. Here, sigma is from zero to infinity. Of course, zero inside because uh, there's a fixed point. And uh, so these are well known results. And uh, um, in this course, we will explain our new result um, with recently with Sasha. Uh, that's a, from the beginning of this year. Um, actually, uh, before introduce this, uh, this theorem, let me first uh, introduce uh, our setting. So, we will consider the following thing. Uh, we consider um, periodic number, the field of periodic numbers, periodic field, um, and we consider um, we will explain in detail, record in detail uh, what QP ZP is. Um, the ring, uh, the ring of integers, ring of periodic integers, which turns out to be uh, actually is a compact ring. And we consider um, the general linear group over uh, this compact ring. So this is um, the set of n times n invertible matrices over Zp. And in very similar way, we consider the union of uh, uh, this compact group, we concede union of this then um, our theorem says the following um, I will not have enough space here and write this theorem three times. And in Chinese, it is one, one, one saying that if one thing is important, repeat it three times. So, okay, well, I'm not saying this is very important. So, myself, um, the action that we are considering is uh, GL infinity Zp tends to infinity Zp, the group action on the space of uh, infinite matrices, but with coefficient in QP. So here, uh, by this notation, I mean that uh, uh, this is a set of uh, infinite matrices. So, of course, this is just a 
topologically just uh, the product, the po uh, Cartesian product of QP, and uh, our result says the following. So um, we give a complete classification of the ergodic measures of such action. The ergodic measures of this action are exactly um, those probability distribution of uh, um, some um, explicitly given random matrices the distribution of the of, of the following um, we take some P and X I J M plus P minus K, Z I J, I will explain all this notation. Um, M here is for all those M greater than some K and um, and where um, this K one K one K this sequence K one are actually the parameters, parameterization of uh, this family of, uh, uh, the, the, the whole family of ergodic uh, measures. This is a sequence in Z union minus infinity. And uh, here K is the limit of Km. It can be in Z or minus infinity, and suppose that if K here is in minor infinity, then there's no, uh, no restriction here. And uh, with convention, of course, um, um, P minus minus infinity equals to P infinity equals to zero in QP. And actually, uh, all these um, K, all these K1 have a meaning. Uh, you are later described as uh, sing, uh, asymptotic uh, singular values we will describe of a typical um, a typical matrix from um, with respect to this uh, uh, given uh, ergodic measure, and let us first let us uh, compare uh, this result with uh, um, another um, well-studied um, classification in Euclidean case. Compared with the following theorem of uh, originally due to peak rail, and our version will be um, Oshansky version. version. Um, so we consider uh, the same uh, similar action. Um, this is the union of the um, union of compact uh, group uh, UN, and here it is also union of compact group, which is actually uh, infinite and uh, infinite dimensional, and uh, which is not uh, locally compact. So we consider the group action I forgot actually to. Say this. What 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 this natural action is? Of course, this means um, 
P1, G2 is just, yes. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> I forgot, so I'm defined. So we define in a similar way this group action. And uh, so the ergodic measures are exactly, so we will see that uh, they have very similar structure, uh, those probability distribution. Uh, of an uh, infinite random matrices given by um, a sequence xm and from zero to infinity um, here we'll write g i and g j delta uh, plus um, delta um, g i j. Um, I forgot also. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Um, here um, x i m y g m z j j are um, independent, uniformly. Distributed on the integers, on the periodic integer, distributed on ZP. And here, um, X, we have a sequence of real numbers. Um, such that uh, um, they are summable and uh, data is positive and uh, G, I, M, G, J, N, G, I, J are independent Gaussian, standard Gaussians. Um, and also, um, this, this classification was originally obtained by Picrel, but uh, this version of Oshansky Wershik uh, has the advantage to give a precise meaning of uh, these uh, parameterization um, parameters as uh, we did in Piaget case. Um, so here, x um, if I write this random matrix as uh, m, then the the truncation. This is uh, the n times n corner of m. The with Singular values um, x one x n positive. Then, of course, since the matrix is random, so the singular values is also random. Um, then we get this random thing x m is the limit of um, normalized. This is almost surely with respect to uh, oh, this is almost surely for any m. It is by this equality that I say that these x n are actually asymptotic singular values of. Uh, uh, this infinite random matrices, and actually we have similar 
situation here, but uh, uh, um, we will write it later. And also, data has a meaning. Um, which is actually um, data um, will be um, the diff and data will be actually the limit of uh, trace m m m where um, I think this should. Uh, Minus x, um, minus i m i from one something like that. This is also almost surely true. So since we have classification of ergodic measures. And uh, um, of course, yes, by the way, all these things has, we has, has a, a symmetric motion. We can consider uh, the action of this group. We can also consider, um, in both cases, symmetric or Hermitian case. This version acts on infinite symmetric, um, but here P should be different from two action by G, X, G, T. We have similar, but the uh, presentation is uh, more difficult. Similar result, and also here, action on Hermitian infinite Hermitian matrices um, action by u times x, u, x, u, star, um, or, and it's the same, or it's a similar result. And it turns out, um, if we consider the natural, a natural unitary invariant uh, um, probability on this space, then this invariant thing we would like to decompose into uh, the uh, ergodic ones. And uh, the natural one is the following. We have uh, um, the Cayley transform, which sends the high measure here, Prove some measure that has denoted by m, but but this measure turns out to be um, by Holoken um, consistent. This measure we define the same thing for m m plus one. The truncation. This is just cutting, cutting the corner. So, yes. Uh, okay. Space here, and uh, this is pushed forward. So we have, the, in this way, we define a um, measure on infinite emission matrices. And it turns out the ergodic decomposition uh, we have an m infinity. Um, the ergodic decomposition of this measure is actually described by determinant point process. Uh, I will write DPP for some sim abbreviation. This is uh, by Borodin-Jansky, and uh, 
with uh, some um, extra work on myself. Okay, now it is turn to uh, present our uh, result, uh, several result in determinant point process, um, which will probably um, help us to understand um, the ergodic decomposition. And uh, by the way, we also have similar construction of uh, this uh, hollow gain and the narrating type uh, uh, measure on the case. And uh, the decomposition is still open. So um, let us now talk a little bit uh, determinant to So all these announced results we will discuss uh, later. Um, so let us first give an example of a determinant point process. Um, we consider first, in this case, the binary sequence. And uh, um, it turns out this, the following kernel, the following function, two variable function on Z, I is minus Y, alpha X different Y in Z, I, um, which by the way is uh, the spectral um, the kernel of the spectral projection of the Fourier transform on um, on the torus. Um, so these these two variable function defines defines a probability, and later we will see that is in our setting. Uh, which we call determinant point process, defines a probability measure on this space satisfying so satisfying the following in property which uniquely determines the um, determines the probability that has denote this by um, the sign um, the cylinder set the following cylinder set omega k1 equals to omega k l equals to 1 is given exactly by a determinant that is why we Call it determinant k i k j for uh, l. Um, by the way, uh, in fact, this is a ergodic probability measure with respect to the shift. But we are actually interested in uh, another property of uh, such measure. Um, we have a theory of profit of, of Sasha, um, which says the following. Um, the, this action, of course, uh, this action quasi um, quasi invariant in the sense that uh, the action pres preserves the 
a measure class of this measure. And uh, um, the co-cycle uh, means the Lauter Nicodemus derivative, derivative is given uh, explicitly as follows. So we write PQ, so for two PQ in Z, the transposition or between just the change P and Q. PQ, then the rather negative derivative of uh, uh, the action of this, uh, this type of generating elements of the group is given by um, a formula which, is, which looks very similar to Gibbs property. Um, so here, let me write probably omega um, as um, the product of um, omega i. Uh, actually, I don't like to write and write, I would like to write x, x, so omega in z actually correspond to a subset of z, just the, the, the this is the indicator of a subset x of z. So this will be x minus p, x minus q, square for those x in x, a different p when um, q is in x, but p is not. Of course, when both p, q are inside, then the action does nothing to the, uh, this configuration. So now let us describe a more general, uh, by the way, um, um, so similar result for gamma kernel, uh, which we will not describe here, gamma kernel instead of uh, uh, sine kernel is a result of Oshansky in 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, uh, before starting um, to present our result, uh, new result, let us uh, discuss further a property of um, gauche pairs rigidity. Um, it says the following. Um, so this, let us just uh, intuitively give the, um, this, this uh, rigidity pro um, um, property, it says the following. So um, for any subset, finite subset, Okay, we will in fact define totally um, the number of partition inside gamma is determined, is in fact measurable with respect to um, the information of uh, the sigma algebra generated by um, uh, the information of uh, the configuration ration outside. Um, so it says the following. So almost surely, so we have a, a, a 
configuration Z, and here we have a subset, then if we know what happens outside, then we actually uh, know what, how many particles inside this uh, finite uh, window. Okay. Um, how many time? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes. Um, that has briefly uh, generated the uh, give a um, definition or theorem of determinant of point process in general case. And theorem is due to several people. Maki, Sush, Nico, and I, Takahashi, Uh, so, we just want to uh, describe a simple case. So, we replace Z by C or R. And we replace here, it's just a subset of Z by Replace it by um, the space of configuration, which is defined as a um, locally finite subset of C. The locally finite means uh, in every finite ball, there's a finite number of points. Then, for any um, for any operator pi of c mu c mu, this will be actually be at uh, the this pi sine similar to this pi sine. As here, the mu is. Um, measure, which can be probably, uh, in our case, uh, uh, Lebesgue measure or Gaussian measure. Um, for any operator, bounded operator, which is uh, positive, positive operate and uh, contractive, in particular, um, the orthogonal projection, and given by given by an uh, integral um, operator y. So I use the same notation for the operator and the kernel. Um, given by with a kernel, a continuous kernel, i, x, y, then we actually define um, a probability on the configuration space. Then this pi x y defines uniquely a probability measure on the configuration space um, satisfying the following um, property that characterize this satisfying the following. So defines a probability that has denoted this by P pi. So, of course, given probability, what we want to do is to uh, 
computer expectation of some test things. Um, X and D. So X is a random configuration with probability p pi of some function. This function is a nice function, compact supported, continuous, etc. It's given by the integral. And uh, of course, determinant, so there's a determinant. Again, see, here is for ij from 1 to n with respect to the measure d mu y1 d mu m. Um, so, in particular, um, we want to, uh, we have the following um, theorem. So, our setting is the following. Um, consider uh, phi, which is uh, a function, real function C, that is C2 smooth, such that um, the Laplacian is bounded um, from below and above. Um, and consider the reproducing kernel, so which is called a weighted Bergman kernel for the Fox space reproducing kernel that has denoted by phi over the Fox space. Define Fox space, the following Fox space. Um, we will come back, so the notation here will probably holomorphic functions on the complex plane such that it's integrable with respect to this measure. This d lambda is uh, um, the, the big measure on the complex plane. Um, then our theorem says that this kernel This kernel general defines a probability on this configuration space. Um, so, this, uh, we have several steps. And uh, just last week, um, we obtained the following. So, um, the diffeomorphism Um, co with compact support, um, diffeomorphism acts on this configuration, this probability space quasi invariantly. The action is quasi invariant. First step. Um, Second thing, um, P um, phi is gosh. Um, I will describe later the cocycle for this action. Gosh behaves rigid, meaning that the, with respect to this probability, um, all configuration, okay, all configuration outside, inside, inside the particles. Um, so um, the um, in, for, simpli for simplifying our notation, let us uh, for this moment at, mo at this moment just stay in the result in radio case uh, in radio case is psi z is just psi. Um, the following limit exists um, by p 
PQ um, X X R X minus P X minus Q this exist in um, pi um, pi C uh, in fact exist in zero of here or P in fact there the turns out to be exist in L1, L1 of configuration with respect to um, closely related probability um, to this one, where P is two, is the projection Onto, onto the subspace of the following subspace F in psi such that FQ is to zero and uh, um, the not only continue derivative of uh, we can define here for P for Q, psi P over Q is given by um, Q normalized, which actually this constant is calculated also explicitly um, in terms of uh, Pussy and Pi. The, the following constant, normalization constant. Um, and the cycle of the action of this action is given um, explicitly our not have time to write explicit now um, in terms of uh, uh, the, this above quantity and also on the C and the Psi. I think I uh, runs out all my time. <laughs>